one good idea where we share an idea that is a result of a conversation with a customer or a prospect, and we're bringing that one good idea to you. So Diana, I was just in a conversation with a customer that uh, was talking about their messaging. And one of the questions I asked them was, well, do you have a message map? There was a pause. This is very common to get these pauses. And the person said, not really. We do have some messages that we have written out and we use those, but uh, we don't really have a message map. Aren't a lot of people also depending on their CRMs to sort of build out this for them? Well, maybe. And, uh, and certainly they try to use their marketing automation platforms to push out their messages. But uh, without a message map, it's just like banging on an instrument. Right, lots of noise out there, which can be very confu confusing, create friction. You might have people in, uh, in the organization saying very different things to the, even the same customer or to the in, in the market. And so a message map, the way to think about a message map is it's like a sheet of music. This sheet of music tells you what the notes are, uh, what instruments, the tempo, and who jumps in when, right? And it kind of is designed, if it's a good piece of music, to be something pleasant to the ear. And so if you don't have a good message map that is compelling and relevant and resonates with your customer base, you're not making very good music. That's true. And I can see with a lot of the conversations that we've had in the past where people find that their teams are just really confused about what is the overall message. Maybe they don't have a company message or something, but it's just, it's not very clear as to what the message is that they should be, that their team should be saying to their customers, to their partners, or even internally. And so it's just good to get everyone on the same page so that there's less confusion. Yes. And less friction because mm -hmm. when the messages are not right out in the marketplace, then your customers that you are trying to acquire, keep and grow are confused and confused customers don't buy. And so what's important to remember here is that we want to reduce friction in the customer buying journey, as well as reduce friction in our marketing and sales processes. So when you build a message map, you need to have a process. And of course we have a process, which we'd be happy to share with all of you. But the key thing is that you need to have one and you want to begin with the end in mind. So we recommend that you kind of lay out your message map and that your messages are both tied to uh, your product as well as your non-product. And good message maps lay ambushes and landmines for competitors and also anticipate potential competitor moves so that you can counter those and be prepared to counter those. So this just isn't about marketing messages and content, although of course you will want content for all of your primary messages. And, and sales materials and, and other things uh, for all of your messages, your graphics, whatnot. But it's also really about your strategy. It's not just something for putting out content, but it t ends up being a bringing your strategy to life for how you're going to operate in the market. Yeah, that sounds like a really great idea that we've given people. Yes, that's our <laughs> one good idea. Make a message map. Let's talk if you and your team would like help in producing a message map for your organization. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel to hear more smart business ideas. Mm -hmm.